Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial and show you how to put these um, little sequin flowers together. Um, I did share that I put these on um, a tag that I made recently um, for a giveaway and I said I was going to come back and do a tutorial showing you how to put these together. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do it on, you could do it on material. Um, felt and things you could um, do it onto a project. I've just got a bag topper that I'm just going to attach it to just to show you for this purpose of this video. So you're going to need something um, to work on. You're going to need a needle and a thread. You're going to need a pokey tool and you're going to need some sequins you can use all different you know colors and things and you're going to need some sea beads and then a center bead for the center so um with your i'll just move that to one side so with your pokey tool you're just going to um i'm going to do it here so you're going to make a hole for the center I will bring this up closer to show you once I've done them all. Then you're going to make a hole at the top. You're going to make two either side and then two further down. So I'm just going to make these a bit bigger so you can see them. So it will look like that. Um, yeah, so it's you got one at the top, one in the middle, two either side, and two at the bottom. Okay, so once you've done that, you don't need a poke at all anymore. You're gonna put some cotton, I'm using white, but you could use whatever like to co coordinate with the sequence you're using. So you're just gonna choose one of the holes on the outside and you're going to be working it through the back like so like that so you're going to bring that up with the knot make a knot at the back of the um, cotton you're then going to thread on so if I do it in a bright color that stands out so I'm going to use these like, purple sequins so you're going to put a sequin on on your needle then gonna put a C bead on I see that sequin a C bead and then another sequin so it looks like that and that's what you're gonna do all the way round so you're gonna put that all the way down like so making sure these sequins face up and then you're going to put this needle through the center one so each time you're working through the center hole um, like so you're going to pull that through then going to go up in the one next to it so I'm just going to turn this over it'll be easier so you're going to go in the hole next to that one go all the way up pulling it tight again you're going to put a sequin oh, that one's punched sequin on a C bead and then another sequin push that right down like so going find the center going in the center one again just make sure it don't wrap around that pulling it tight finding the next one next to it so this one pulling it up again 
sequin, sea bead. Oh, that one's too small. Some of these sea beads don't fit on the needle. Um, yeah, so you just got to sort of because they come up different sizes. So, so sequin, sea bead, sequin. Push that all the way down. Again, going into the centre. Oh, it's got caught on it. Pull in that tight, going up in through the top one now. Again, sequin, sea bead, sequin, pushing those down, and then you're going through the center again, and then you've just got this last one over here, which you're going to go up through so it's the last one again sequin sea bead I, I had a sequin on there no sequin push those down in through the center again like that so that's what it kind of looks like. So then you're going to go, you can choose, I usually do the side. So say this one. You're going to go up from the bottom. You're going to go through that sequin again, the C bead and the sequin. So you get to the center. You're then going to grab a pearl or um, whatever you want to bead in the center you're gonna go through that then you want to find the one that's kind of opposite so like I don't know if I can show. so I came up through this set of sequins and sea beads so you want to go down through this one here because it's kind of opposite that one so you're gonna go through the sequins through the sea bead and the sequin through the card and come through the back and then you're going to pull that so it's in the center there and you're going to pull that tight and that's your the flower I just like to manipulate them a little to kind of the shape I want so it looks like that and then in the back all I do is I will go through the center of some of them holding this really tight pulling it through going through that hoop and then just yeah doing it a couple of times just going through just making them more secure I'll do that a few few times few knots and then all you can do is, is you can cover all this so you don't see the stitching at the back and that's it I think they're really cute and they're so easy to make and you could do them on like I said I've, I've done them on this card um, yeah all, all different projects if you're making albums and you're touching um, you know card and things you could do all your stitching and then add a couple of flowers and things. Sew those on and then attach and make your album covers and things. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try and answer them to the best that I can. Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Take care guys. Bye.